Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple. Great to be here at the EBN conference. The next culture breakthrough is actually underway, which is, it's been underway for hundreds of years, we just didn't know it. But it's actually the machines becoming, um, you know, conscious with real brains. And right now, a machine can solve a problem, a computer can solve a problem very well when we define how to do it, or we have simple formulas like mathematical formulas, but a machine can't come up with the method to solve problems that are difficult. I can give you a very simple problem, and a machine will take longer than the universe has been around. The fastest computer, supercomputer in the world will take longer than the universe has been around to calculate the answer, but a human brain can figure out an approach that will solve it in a short amount of time, you know, like basically minutes, and when are computers gonna get to that, that they search around and say, is there an approach that's different than just brute force? I, actually, for a couple of years, I've worn this little iPod Nano that you wear as a watch, and I wear it on airplanes just to keep my iPod close to me for music only. But scrolling the screen makes me realize this scrolling is fun, and I wish I had the whole smart computer of an iPhone in there. I wish I had Siri so I could speak to it and ask questions and see answers all the time. And um, that was my first touch to wearable computing. I'm also extremely intrigued by the articles I read. I think for gadgeteers like myself, it's been an incredible marketing approach, whether it was deliberate or accidental. All the little tidbits that you hear and read about Google Glasses and some people hacking them and some mods and some things they do. And um, I'm excited, I really wanna have that. I don't have time to be one of the early, real proficient testers, so I didn't ask them for one. Usually when we envision new products that we've, we hear rumors about, whether it's, um, you know, iWatches or Apple Television, I, I would write down a list of categories that would make it the most incredible thing in our lives, and I'll write down 30 things, and usually the product comes out. And it did five different things, but not the things I thought of, so um, it, it's hard to estimate. I think our, our experience in the living room has changed quite a bit. Now, I travel a lot, so that means that, well, gosh, the shows I want to watch aren't necessarily on television, I carry pre-recorded shows on my iPad. I, I go online and try to find shows. If I can't find them in video, I find them in audio. Um, it's still not that easy. A sling box lets me sling my videos from my home television to wherever I am. And that's been an important technology in my life. But my network routers in my house don't work constantly enough. So, you know, we're fighting technology still to get this done. What is the experience? I think it's going to be pretty much a computer experience. The computer is so much a part of our life. Everyone walks around right now just basically in communication with friends, whether it's, you know, texting, tweeting, um, um, Facebook, whatever. Um, they're carrying around doing that kind of stuff and living that life. And it's easy to watch entertainment. Television in the past was pretty much easy entertainment. And most shows I could watch and not have to pay total attention. I could listen to the words and be doing other things at the same time on a computer with a television. Well, now they're both in one. Gary is quite excellent. I came during some good weather. I don't, I've been lucky for two years. I've been bringing good weather with me and I can't explain it. I sense a lot of creative elements in this part of the world and a lot of people that appreciate creative creativity and they appreciate creative people and that's where the advances in the future really come from. You know, it's, you, if you appreciate great art, great singers, great music, that sort of thing, um, you come up with the inspiration for, you know, new ideas that are, that are wonderful. Changing life on a consumer level is what Apple's all about these days and that's where I come from. <laughs>